Duke, Cal State, Fullerton. I'm actually really interested in this game. Some spots opened it as high as 20 in yeah. favor of Duke. Uh, Giraffe Kings opened it at 18. Circa at 18 as well in South Point at 17. Cal State Fullerton is going to be intriguing, mainly because, one, we get the Duke side of things where we're talking about the Blue Devils coming into this 0-4 ATS in their last four games of all, an average of 82.7 points per game allowed, a defensive rating of 119.9 over those four games. So that's not very good. And while Cal State Fullerton is not a, a dominant offensive team, humans mentioned it, they have some efficient shooters, but also really good team at getting to the free throw line. 48th in free throw rate. They shoot 76% at the line as a team. Duke was a pretty good defensive team in terms of being able to defend without fouling. But this is a team that's going to press the issue. And while there might be a length and massive advantage in the front court here, the Titans are going to try to get these bigs in trouble for Duke, and, and that might be a problem. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see if they can do that. Then I think they got a great chance. When you look at the Titans, their top four scores are all 78% or better at the free throw line. Yep. It makes a huge difference. The problem is when you look at a guy like Williams inside in that length, you are not seeing anybody remotely close to that in the Big West. Uh, but this is a high number, and right now the way Duke has played, this reminds me of go back to when Kyrie came back from injury for the tournament. Yeah. People thought they'd be able to flip the switch. They weren't able to do it, and I kind of feel that way about this team. bancaro has been outstanding all year long, but for whatever reason, there's something amiss with this team. They, they're going to get through this game, but uh, how far can they go from there? Fullerton, give them a ton of credit. They've competed all year long, and you mentioned that free throw discrepancy in terms of how effective they've been at the line. They're going to need that one if they're going to have a chance in this one. Yeah, you mentioned the uh, the discrepancy in terms of what you'll see in terms of personnel. Fullerton uh, really doesn't have the bodies. Paolo Boncaro, 6'10", skilled like a yeah. guard. And then, of course, Trevor Keel, 6'4", 221. Yeah. Like, Fullerton doesn't have a dude bigger than Vincent Lee, who's 6'8", 230. So, like, that's from a body, just a pure body perspective, it's going to be a little bit of a mismatch here for CU Fullerton. Yeah, that's a, that's a concern I have. But, again, the number being as big as it is, it could be a different scenario. You know, when you get up by 12 at halftime, the effort in the second half doesn't necessarily equate to what it was in the first half. Get prepared for all the madness with VEASAN's Tournament Betting Guide, daily best bet emails, plus full access to VEASAN through April 5th for only $19 at VEASAN.com slash madness.